Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescaserace.com coming at you with 2019-2020 Panini Mosaic Basketball 2 box random team break number 2. Uh, this is the Mosaic Cello Pack versions which come in those those white boxes right here. Those hanger packs plus it has those exclusive pink camo parallels which look pretty sharp. There's also an early bird special if you're one of the first 20 people who bought spots. There you have it. You got a chance at winning an extra spot. It's not too bad. So that's a separate dice roll. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Five and one, six times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Six and final time. After six, there you go. Jeff had the odds. Jeff gets the early bird spot. The early bird catches the worm. Delicious, delicious worms. All right, now let's do a new tab, the randomizer for the break itself. Two and a two. Hard four, names and teams. One, two, three, four. Ashley, down to Todd. Hard four, four, the teams. One, two, three, and four. After four times, we've got the uh, Trailblazers down to the Miami Heat. And here we go. Ashley, you have the Trailblazers. Anthony with the Pels. Drew with the Nets. Alan, you got my Lakers. Last spot mojo. LeBron hunting. Ashley with the T-Wolves. Josh with the Bucks. Jeff with the Hawks. Joe with the Knicks. Michael with the Grizz. Nice. Justin with the Sixers, Michael with the Pacers, Jeff with the Nuggets, David with the Cavs, Anthony with the Thunder and the Magic, Robert with the Wizards, Ken with the Raptors, John Samuelson with the Suns, Andrew with the Pistons, Jeff with the Celtics, Mike Tower with the Bulls, Justin with the Hornets, Jeff, your early bird spot gets you the Clippers, uh, Dan with the Jazz, Drew with the Spurs, Ash with the Warriors, David with the Kings, Jeff with the Rockets and Mavs, and Todd with the Miami Heat, Kendrick Nunn's, Tyler Heroes so on and so forth. Let's alphabetize by team. Any trades? We're gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades, and then we're gonna have the break. Stick around. And we're back, folks. There was a bit of trade chatter, but no deals were done. It's all right, here we go. Two box, cello, random team two, mosaic basketball. People are a fan of this stuff here. I like it too. The pink camo parallels are strong, so a lot of fun stuff in here, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of great value on the secondary market. No vet common ship in this, except for LeBron James, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Luka Doncic, and uh, Kobe Bryant. We've got another two box break. I'll tell you what, we have a whole 20 box case, I'll tell you that. So we can do, we can go all the way up to, break three just sold out. Uh, we got all the way up to, what, what's 20 divided by, break 10? I think we can go to two box 10. Uh, yeah, Steph Curry does not ship. It's only uh, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and second year Luka Doncic. Those are the only vet commons that will ship. Other vet commons will not ship. Yeah, these come in 20 box cases, Gabe. So man, we, we can do the entire case tonight if you want to, ladies and gentlemen. We're here until uh, we're here until 9 o'clock Pacific, 12 a.m. Eastern. I actually don't know if Kobe is in this checklist, this mosaic checklist. But in general, those are, those are, the, those are the only veteran commons that will ship. So, Kobe, comma, if any. Uh, saying what name, Tyler? I like saying a lot of names. 
Yeah, we gotta have a little bit of a curfew, Gabe. I, it's kind of an uh, unenforceable curfew, really. I mean, I'm going to and from work. That's exempt, you know. So this really doesn't really affect my life. I think we're all right. I think it's mostly to keep people from like joyriding around and being unnecessarily on the road. But it looks like it's all it's being relaxed kind of all over the county and I think all the individual cities will eventually relax them through this week, weekend, and then hopefully things will be back to normal next week. And we were just we were only just starting to uh we were only just starting to reopen stuff in Los Angeles. So now we can kind of get that going again. <laughs> Maybe next week. I don't I don't remember what I what third guy I said, Tyler. I barely remember what I said ten seconds ago. Alright, here we go. So obviously these will ship. Inserts will ship, rookie cards will ship, vet common, these will not ship. That Giannis will ship. Oh, was Giannis the third name I said? That's a fun name to say. I remember back in 2013, 2014, I think that was his rookie year, when, uh, and these greens are not numbered by the way. I remember when he first, I did not know how to say his name. And it, you know, he, his cards were selling for nothing. When he first came out to the scene, to the NBA scene, so. I was like. So, the sil these refractors will obviously ship too. But now, like Giannis Silver Prisms, used to go for so much, like goes for so much now. But they went for nothing back in the day. You could probably, you can probably dig back into the Jaspi archives. You can go to the Jaspi archives and see us doing old prison basketball with Giannis rookies, and just see us just blow right by Prism Silvers. Jared Culver rookie silver for the teal. So the Luca goes to Jeff Doylak and the Mavs. The Jared Culver will go to Ashley and the T Wolves. But how times have changed. Now everyone would be would be happy to stumble across a, a Giannis rookie silver. Nice LeBron James right there. There you go. Nice parallel. That's for the Lakers. That's going to go to Alan Murdoch. Last spot mojo. All right, next one here. That's a good question, Tony Reyna. Who do you think will be the guy in this draft that we just blow past? And then a few years later, we're just like, oh, man, I wish I had those guys... That guy's uh, silver out of mosaic basketball from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I don't. This draft class is actually pretty decent. I don't know. Let's see. It's got to be really under the radar, guys. You know, Zion obviously doesn't. John Morant obviously doesn't. I don't think R.J. Barrett counts. You know, because where was Giannis drafted? Like in the middle of the third round, or middle of the second, first round, that is, 13th pick or something like that? 
So it's got to be a combination of mid to late first round pick, not highly rated, and then just and then just kind of blows up. Maybe a name that we don't really talk about that often. You know, so maybe so if I'm going like 15th pick and on and of players that we don't really talk about too much during a break, maybe like, I don't know. I mean, it's we're looking at Chuma Okiki, Nikhil Alexander-Walker. We talk, kind of talk about him. Goga Batadze we don't really talk about. Luka Samanich, you know, Grant Williams, Darius Baisley we don't talk about. Ty Jerome, Nasir Little, John, uh, John Samuelson's mentioning. You know, guys, guys, guys like that. There's a Giannis Antetokounmpo, pink camo, going to the Bucks. That'll be for Josh Callahan. Got a pink camo, Kendrick Nunn. For Todd Reardon, NBA debut, Kobe White for Mike Tower and the Bulls. Some interesting, fun little parallels here. Maybe that Darius Garland could be a name that we, that we talk about years from now. Remember when Joe would just breeze past <laughs> Darius Garland? Well, Darius Garland was... Darius Garland could still do work, right? Fifth pick overall. Hasn't really shown. I don't know. Cavs could be an interesting team. Uh, yeah, Gabe. Only veteran commons don't ship. Aside from the the few that I mentioned earlier, LeBron, Giannis, Kobe, if any, and uh, Luka Doncic. Only veteran commons do not ship. And that goes for goes for most ways, except for like select, where everything ships, or like revolution, where everything ships. But Yeah, speaking of select, Tyler Brenner wants to see select baseball go tonight. I think that's from a fresh case, too. Dan Tyson mentioning, what, Eric, Eric Pascal? Yeah, that could be a name. That could be a name that we, you know, that we eventually breeze by, and then years later we're like, man, we should have been more careful with those uh, those Eric Pascal rookie cards. It's true. Um, that, that's the great thing about basketball is that is that it just. There's, the rosters aren't too big, so these these names have a lot of opportunities to try to to try to get onto get into like a starting rotation basically, and be like the first like seven eight guys that are getting some regular minutes, and then that's all it takes, and all of a sudden, you know they've got some uh, they've got some name, and then they increase in value in the hobby rather quickly. Basketball is such an international sport, you know, 
huge in Asia, Australia, Europe, South America. Right, yeah, Pascal, somebody that Tony also likes. Maybe he gets a chance with a loaded team when they're back in house. Yeah, does he get a chance? That's the thing. But, I mean, Pascal's on the Warriors, right? So, I think so. Pretty sure he is. Um, for him, maybe his time to shine will be if he gets traded. If he gets traded to another team and then is allowed to shine there, it's, I mean, that's all it, that's all it really takes. Jordan Poole, another guy that people like too on the Warriors. And if the Warriors end up keeping their pick, if the Warriors end up keeping their pick, they can get a they can get a really high pick. Remember that Vince Carter goes to the Raptors, according to GroupRateCheckList.com. Nice MVPs, LeBron James, and a Giannis insert. And a Lakers edition, LeBron James. So two different editions right here. A lot going on here. So we got the Giannis's, which will go to Josh. This LeBron James base, which will go to Allen. And the Lakers. More Giannis. And the, this MVP mosaic, LeBron, which is Cavs edition, David Baker. I think that card may go for like 60, 70, 80 bucks, maybe more. John Morant. NBA debut, Michael Hosby with the Grizz. This is, uh, this is break two. Number one, we just uploaded not too long ago. So Markel Fultz could be a good buy low candidate. RJ Barrett still hasn't shown what he can do either. Like he still has some some room to grow, not only on the team but in the hobby as well. Value-wise, secondary market value-wise. Matisse Teibel. I know we've talked about Matisse Teibel. I like him a lot, but another guy that could see some value there. Nice. There's another John Morant base. No parallel yet for, uh, for Michael. Are we getting warmer? Maybe. Another Giannis base. And here are the pink camos. Good luck. And we've got another one sold out. We're going to go through some orders after this and then we'll figure out uh, what we're, uh, what's on the schedule. We'll do that before the blaster break. Apologies to the blaster people, but I think I need to go through these hundred orders so we can keep Otherwise, people are going to be wondering, when's my break? And I might as well just take that time now. Tricky thing is that Draymond won't be there for much longer, which could open it up. Open up some playing time for Eric Pascal. Could be good. Where does Draymond end up? It could be a lot of interesting off-season movement this year. Basketball starting, folks. July 31st. They've got a date. Which I'm happy with. Nice. John Morant, pink camo. And RJ Bear for Joe Andreessen. 
and a nice pink camo John Moran for Michael. There you go. That looks really cool. And we can find his teammate. All right, sorry, uh, apologies to, to Anthony. No Zions in there, but that RJ will go to the Knicks for Joe Andres. And there you have it, boys and girls. That was two box random team two of 2019-2020 Panini Mosaic Basketball. There'll be more in the store, so check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.